Welcome back, Devils fans. And as some of us expected, after the holiday roster freeze ended at midnight, we figured something would be coming this morning. And sure enough, playoff hero Akira Schmid has been sent to the Utica Comets of the AHL. The one thing I will say is, that unfortunately, I do not think the coaching staff did a great job with Akira's overall development. And, and what I mean by that is last season when Mac Black had those injuries, you know, Akira was up and down. He was, you know, Utica, Devils, Utica, Devils, back and forth a lot. And I think it kind of messed with him. And he eventually stuck around for the playoffs and got the job done against the Rangers. Unfortunately, shit the bet against the Hurricanes. They went right back to V. And I just think, you know, he never got his real chance. And that's what I've been I've been openly, you know, battle crying for for a, a few months on this channel. Is I just want to see him get a consistent streak of games. Now, this season, our schedule has been super wonky. We lead the league in back-to-backs. It's like we play three games in four nights and we have four days off. And our schedule was such bullshit. We got no favors from the league in that regard. And it just seemed like he could never find his rhythm along with the kids on defense learning on the job and blown assignments and quality scoring chances against. It all just kind of crumbled down on him this season along with VTech. But I don't think that they really developed him in the way they should, if I'm being honest. And, you know, it's not to be a jerk or, or point fingers, but, you know, he was he probably never felt secure in his role because he was just in and out of, you know, AHL, NHL, AHL, NHL. And if I'm being honest, after he won the Rangers series, I would have left him in the net no matter what. If we got swept by Carolina, then so be it. I mean, VTech was never going to get the job done for us in the playoffs. He showed that in Washington. He showed it again last year against the Rangers and Hurricanes. And, you know, after, after Akira struggled, as the whole team did in Carolina, game three, they went back to VTech. We won the game 8-4. But VTech did not look good in that game. We scored eight friggin' goals. We won eight to four. And I immediately texted one of my Devils groups. I was at game three. And I immediately texted my Devils group. And I was like, I really hope they go back to Akira for game four because Vanacek looked like garbage and we scored eight goals. Like, you know, I, I, I hope we go back to Akira. Obviously, they didn't. Game four comes. Vanacek gets the start. And the rest is history. He gets lit up again. And that's it. And that's all she wrote. We're down 3-1, going to Carolina, and, and it's over. So, you know, in Akira's defense, I don't think he ever got a, a true fair shake. And I think they messed with his head. He's a young kid, and he was just getting yo-yoed in and out. And hopefully some time in the A does him some good, and he comes back stronger and better than ever. But I do think there is some blood on the hands of the coaching staff and management because I do think his development progression was piss poor, if I'm being completely blunt. Now, folks, you know, I've been rooting for Akira this whole time. Anytime someone comes in and revives the Devils from a 2-0 deficit in a playoff series against anyone, never mind the New York Rangers, and then goes on the road, gets the job done, ties the series, and then ultimately wins with a Game 7 shutout. Instant legend in my book. And one of my good friends, shout out to Steve in our Devils-related chat, called him the... <laughs> the goalie equivalent of Henrique, and I think that is the most fitting way to put it. At least, you know, it's not as dramatic as an overtime goal, obviously, but in the end, the way I view him is he is the goalie equivalent of Adam Henrique in that he knocked out the Rangers, you know, nearly single-handedly, obviously not, but, you know, with a lot of his great play in that series, we were able to eliminate the Rangers. But aside from that, today the news comes down, he is back to Utica, in the AHL, Nico Dawes will continue to back up Vitek Vanacek and possibly start some games. And I'd imagine with these next two games coming up to back-to-back -back Friday in Ottawa and Saturday in Boston, that Nico Dawes will probably see a start somewhere in there. And I would imagine more likely than not, it'll be tomorrow night against Ottawa. Time will tell us on that front how that plays out. But, um, you know, in, in Akira's defense, he didn't. He's, he's not having a great season, obviously. Neither is Vitek Vanacek. I, it's well documented on the channel that between the two, I severely favor Akira and I've openly campaigned for him and I've had the series give Akira the net. I think we got up to volume three or four. And in the end, both him and Vanacek have had their struggles this season. I do believe Akira Schmidt is the better goaltender of the two. With that being said, 
um, maybe sometime last week, I think I finally came to the realization that Akira's time probably is not right now and that he could be a guy for the future, but he just wasn't ready yet. And so at this juncture, Nico Dawes is up with the big club, and I'd imagine that they're going to get, I mean, to not give him a start would be, be kind of silly. So I think twofold uh, purpose here is that they probably want to get Akira more playing time, so they figure he'll get that in the A. And they probably want to see where Nico Dawes is after his surgery and what he's capable of doing at the NHL level. And so it makes sense, um, you know, to see to see where, where Nico is on the NHL stage. He has played in the league. Let's take a look at his stats here. So he's played 25 games in the, um, in the 21-22 season. He... In the 25 games played, he started 23, and his record was 10 wins, 11 losses, and overtime loss, with a goals against of 3.11 and a save percentage of .893. So again, those aren't stellar numbers. They're not horrible for you know the first subset of games at the NHL level on a team that wasn't great. So you know, um, and being that that was his last NHL game was April of 22. So you're talking about. You know, over a year, a year and eight, 20 months ago is a year and eight months ago. It's kind of wild to think about. But I suppose we are going to see what Nico Dawes can do in the league as of today. And Akira will likely be getting a lot more playing time in Utica. And maybe he could work on some of those things in his game and come back to the big club at some point a little more refined and polished for the NHL game. It is disappointing. Um... You know, disappointing to me, but I, I kind of thought this would happen after a couple weeks ago. It seems like the coaching staff, the executives, probably realize they're handcuffed with Vanacek at the moment. I mean, I can't see anyone taking him in a trade. He, he has no trade value. He makes a good amount of money, and with the stats the way they are, I just feel like they're probably realizing that they're stuck with him for the moment, and so they're going to see which one of the kids can maybe step up and play some games as well. I, I will tell you that Vanacek being a starter for any sort of playoff run scares the absolute shit out of me, and I think it would be a suicide mission for the coaching staff to ride him into the playoffs, and that's why I'm still hoping that we are still looking to bring in that legitimate number one goalie to push Vitek either off the team or to push him in the backup role in support of a more established, legit starting netminder for the New Jersey Devils. And that also opens up the question of, you know, is is Akira possibly being shopped for a trade? Is Nico Dawes maybe being showcased for a potential trade? Uh, there's a lot of possibilities here. So, you know, as time goes on, we'll see what happens. But at the moment, it just seems like they're going to see what Dawes has in the league. But I, I wouldn't be surprised with all these rumblings and the smoke surrounding the Devils and the whole goalie situation that maybe Akira or Dawes will be part of a package to bring in a legit goalie. I just don't know. I would not like to see Schmidt traded. I do believe he could have a bright future with the club at some point, and it would kind of suck to trade him, but I would understand the move if we were getting a bona fide number one goalie that could help us today. So that's you know tough decisions that have to be made on the business side of hockey, and unfortunately sometimes teams got to part with, with guys that you don't really want to to you know fill a, a more pressing need which is, you know, now. Our window is pretty much now, in my opinion. I mean, you know, do I expect to win this year? No, but is it out of the question? Is it totally outlandish? I don't believe so. With a couple right moves, a starting goalie, a defenseman or two, you know, Luke and, and Nemitz being a little more seasoned and a little more comfortable at the time the playoffs roll around, all it takes, guys, is a goalie to get a little hot and a couple players to get hot and, and things to click, and you could go on a magical run. I mean, how many people thought the 2003 Devils were going to go all the way? I mean... While we had the, the, the glory days with Stevens, Niedermeyer, Marty, et cetera, et cetera, I thought we were a cup contender every year, and the reality is we kind of were. But I don't think many people had us circled as a, as a favorite to win the cup that year, and definitely not in 2012. We kind of came out of nowhere and went on that run as well. And so, you know, I, I wouldn't be shocked with, with a couple little tinkers that this New Jersey Devils team could make a deep run. It, you know, for, the, for all of you – in the comments saying, oh, you know, this team's crap and you're talking about playoffs. Obviously, nothing's a guarantee. I I'm a big, big Devils fan. I'm rooting for the best, and I, I, I do believe in the team. I think they could go on a run. 
So with all of that being said, I guess we'll find out as time goes on if there's a trade in the works in, um, involving any of the goalies. But I don't think anyone's going to take Vanacek. So unfortunately, if we do deal a goalie to bring in a legit goalie, it's going to have to be Dawes or Schmid. Time will tell. And lastly, we'll just take a look again at Akira's numbers on the season. You know, not good as we've talked about, but 13 starts, 5 wins, 7 losses, a goals against the 3.26, and a save percentage of 0.893. So again, he struggled. VTech has struggled. I don't know what the answer is other than we need a legit goalie. Still would like Gibson no, at nowhere near the price of what they're reporting. So to me, two top prospects in a first-round pick is l absolutely ludicrous. I'm not even contemplating that. And so I would, I don't know what I would do as a backup plan, but I'm definitely not entertaining that for Gibson. I would like him at the right price, and my price would be significantly less than that. But it seems like there's a lot of people in on Gibson, a lot of teams with a goalie need, and so we'll likely be outbid, and I'm okay with that. I do not want to mortgage this team's future on a guy like Gibson that, you know, may or may not kind of fall off a cliff out of nowhere. You never know. He's not super young, um, being, I think he's 30. You know, maybe his best seasons are behind him. Maybe they're not. You never know. We've seen Quick turn back the clock after leaving L.A. to go to Vegas and then ending up on Broadway with the Rangers this year, and he's playing better than Tristurkin. You know, that's a kind of a rare example, but it does happen where, you know, some guys change of scenery could do a lot for them. I just don't want to risk that much of a, of a return on Gibson for me. Now, if you're talking Soros, you know, that's a different story. I still don't know that I'd want to part with Seamus Casey in almost any deal. I love Seamus Casey. But it all goes back to I really wish that we could have landed Hellebuck in the summer. That's a whole different thing. I made a video about that in the summer. I really wanted Connor Hellebuck. I think he would have been a magical piece that kind of put us over the, over the hump there to be a real legit contender. But that didn't happen, and so here we are. We need a goalie. Everyone knows it. The price of goalies are going up. Multiple teams are looking. The, you know, It's a seller's market. And so time will tell. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. What do you think about Akira going to the A? Yeah, and then the, the other thing is, like, on a more personal level, aside from, like, hockey itself, you know, Akira was with the Devils for a while, right? So he's staying in Ritz-Carlton's four seasons, eating filet mignon and lobster tails with the boys, and now he's riding the bus and eating fucking Taco Bell again. That's got to be, that's got to be a really tough thing for players to go through. And my heart goes out to him. He's a young kid, man. You know, he was living the big league life. They just had the dad's trip. His dad came to see him, and now he's back on the bus in the A, eating drive-through. It's it's a rough, it's a rough, rough business to be in. Hopefully, he's back with the big club at some point, and he's back living the high life. But for now, he's going to be riding the bus in the A, and that's just got to be, you know, it's, it's got to do a lot to you, especially as a goalie. Goalies are very, are very cerebral creatures. And always in their heads. And so I, I feel bad for the kid. He's probably going through it right now. He's probably not very happy. But hopefully he makes the best of his opportunity in the A. Puts together a nice st uh, string of wins. Plays well. And then eventually comes back up. And in the meantime, hopefully Dawes could show us something. Um, you know, anything that'll get VTech off the roster. And I'm sorry. I, I said I'm trying to be more positive in the new year. But he's just not part of the plans for the team. And so... Time will tell, guys. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about all this? Is there a trade in the wins? Uh, is Dawes leapfrogging Schmidt on the overall depth chart? Is this just kind of a little trial thing and you guys think Akira is going to be back sh sooner than later? Let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. Until next time, friends, let's go Devils.